What is going on guys? It's your boy Peekum Fun Fit 97 and I have a basic uh editing tutorial uh over Adobe Premiere Pro. And in this tutorial I'll be going over how to specifically edit in Premiere Pro um using tools such as um the move tool, the zoom tool and all that stuff, uh, adding trans some transitions, uh c cutting some videos like splitting clips um fading videos and adding music as well and editing music too so that's just the basics okay um so we're gonna go ahead and create a new project if you haven't already then great for you but if you have not then follow along i'm gonna name it um basic editing uh two because i already named one like that and i'm gonna click ok now here you it will give you an option uh, it says new sequence and this will allow you to change or to add some presets now you can add the standard 48 kilohertz um, preset, which is just your standard, um, what it looks like, uh, 29.97 frames per second. It's a QuickTime DV NTSC, so if you're in North America, that's what you're going to see. If you're in the UK or in Europe, then you will have PAL. Now, right here it gives you 4 by 3 interlace. That's going to be a 4 by 3 ratio. It should be 16 by 9. So I usually go with standard. Uh, standard 48 kilohertz because I like to and click OK. Now that's the first way of adding a sequence. There is a second way of adding a sequence by going to where you first have to import your footage to so go into file and import and you can go ahead and import a a footage. I'm going to import this one that I got from stockfootage.com and so maybe because if I add it to my timeline so I have to double click to get my timeline here. You have to double click the sequence to get your timeline if you saw that. Um, so if I add it, it might ask me to change the sequence settings. There you go. And I'm going to keep my uh, settings right now because I'm going to go and delete it. So there is a way to do it so it doesn't ask you that and how to, to change the sequence settings. So you can either delete the sequence we created earlier, click on, on our footage, and go to this one. Or oh, whoops. Go over to, let's see where it was. Where is it? Where is it? There's um, a way to do it. <laughs> There is a way to do it. Um, let's see. Let's see. I have to find it because there is. Oh, here we go. Okay. Go over to new item and go to sequence. See, I knew it was hiding. And select uh, whatever one you want. Click OK. And there you go. Um, now you can go into the sequence and change the sequence. So just make sure you have your sequence selected. And go to sequence settings. And here you can change the sequence settings. So display format, you can do it, you can change it to whatever you want. You can go to 30 frames, non-drop frame, time code, display format. This is just the audio, don't mess around with that. Now right here where it says video previews, the preview file format. It should be quick time because it's grayed out and you can't change anything. You can add maximum bit depth. What this will do is this will add some really high quality and high depth uh, when you render, which when you export, you save the video. But doing this um, will really add a lot, a lot of like a lot of megabytes and gigabytes to the file. So pretty much, it's kind of useless depending what you're what you're using it for. So like this will take up a lot of space. Like it, it the file will be really big. Same with maximum render quality. Uh, then I'm gonna click cancel. So here we have our sequence settings. I'm gonna go ahead and add it into the um, the title, the timeline here. Now, if you if it tells you this, then I would actually go to change sequence settings. So this will match up the sequence, um, and that will be what we want. Okay. So here is our footage. Um, you can see here. Let me go ahead and turn down the volume. Holy moly, it's loud. As you can see, it's very beautiful. I did get it from stockfootage.com. So if you guys want to go ahead and check them out, that'll be awesome. Um, so I don't know if this is, uh, the video is uh, like copyright or whatever. I'll post their stuff in the description just to give them some credit. I do not take credit from like from them. So that'll be awesome though, but I'm not uh, sponsored from them, but that'd be kind of awesome. But anyway, going on with the video, uh, say, whoops, I have to turn down the volume. So I'll come back in just a second. Okay, I am back and I kind of fixed the audio. I don't know, it was a little loud. Well, that is coming out 
of the mic into my earphones. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. It's going to be a little loud. But say we wanted to, um, for some reason, it's adding the music here. And I don't want it to be interrupting. So I'm going to take off the skimmer. So that should be over in the, um, should be over here somewhere. Because there is a, a skimmer, which pretty much if you move over, if you drag, you will hear it just like that. And I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Like, it's kind of annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off um, if I can find it somewhere. So I don't want to go ahead and waste so much time here. Um, wow, where is the dang thing? Anyway, I'll just disable it for now. Um, so getting into the footage, uh, sorry, I had to waste some time there, but... What we had to do here is say I wanted to transition, say I wanted to split a clip from, okay, so from here all the way to here. So say I wanted to make this its own little clip, okay? So what I would do is every time for every frame, so, because it is um, transitioning to the other video, it's going to be a little hard to do it, but nothing is impossible. So I'm going to do it right here where it doesn't start to show, see? So I think right here would be fine. So by zooming in, this will be your, um, if you click and drag this, this will kind of move around your timeline. If you click, if you click and drag either one of these, actually, if you move it to the left, that will uh, make it bigger. Or if you drag it to the right, it'll make it smaller. It's kind of the opposite, but uh, you guys get used to it quite quickly. Um, so I'm zoomed in here and I want to split the clip. Okay. So it's really easy. Um, now, if you go over to the razor tool by pressing C on your keyboard, this will give you the razor um, tool. So if you go over into your timeline and select the clip you want to split, all you're going to do is click right there and then we'll split it. Now, there is a shortcut. Uh, I'm not familiar with the shortcut. I will put it in the screen if I do know it. Um, so now I want to move it over, okay? So the shortcut to going back is whoops, is the V tool that will pretty much is in Photoshop too. Um, the V tools to the move tool. Okay. And so you can just transition from either one of these. Okay. So like C or whoops, V and C. So this would be your razor tool and this will be your move tool. So you can transition either one of those with the shortcuts. So now I want to move over. Okay. So I want to go over to where it's start where it ends. So let's see, right? Right there. So there is, these are two frames. So I want to go um, back right here. Always select that first. And then I press C on my keyboard and I'm going to split. And what this will do is this will create a clip by itself. So you can drag it out of the actual clip itself. So that's really cool. And if I wanted to drag this over, you would just select the clip because it's all in one uh, clip. So you would just click and drag. Whoops. I don't want to click and drag there. Click and drag it so it snaps to... Uh, the other footage. If you don't have the snap, it's really easy. Go over to uh, the sequence and go to snap, uh, and that will snap whatever you're going to be moving clips together. So now if I were to play it, let me go ahead and disable this. I'm pressing this little eye icon here, or the eye. It toggles the track, so play it. Whoops, I'm going to play the sound as well. You can see that the sound, whoops, you can see that the sound kind of clips off, like it just, like, it starts and then just goes off out of nowhere. And we want to go ahead and fix that. So, as you can see here, what I can do is, um, whoops, I don't want to do that. Well, um, <laughs> by, let's see. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and disable the audio track. Oh, I'm not, I don't want to disable it. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Hope not, hope it's not too loud. I'll just take it off. Okay, so... Um, whoops, why is it doing that? Oh yeah, it's on, it's on its own little track here. Okay, um, so what I want to do is the sound, pretty much, is kind of... Um, going in and then it just cuts out of nowhere because you can tell that it's been cut so we want to take that off okay so i'll go ahead and enable it again i'm 
Okay, so what I'll do right here is this is your audio track. So you can see that where it says V, that means for video and A is for audio. Okay, that means it's your video and your audio. Video always goes on top and then your audio file uh, track. Okay, so um, if you want to go ahead and select your clip, whatever you're going to be working on, we want to go ahead and fade this in. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. So because it clips off in the very beginning, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little closer. I'm going to actually decrease it or move the uh, the front part to my time head right here. And what this will do is it'll cut off the front into the playhead right here. So if you click on your file or your video file, you'll see that it will turn red if you go to the far edge. Um, and you want to click and drag till it snaps right here. Make sure that it's on both video and audio or else you have it sep like separated, but usually it doesn't happen. So now if you play it, it doesn't sound natural. So, so we're going to have to fix that too. So let me go ahead and move back the cursor just like that. And I'm going to select, whoops, don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and select my two all my video files together. Okay, so it's 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 getting there. It's not quite there yet, but uh, I don't want to take I don't want to take too long doing this. So let's go ahead and move this back. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna waste too much time. So, um, let's see. Uh, so now we want to fade it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the beginning. Okay, right here is where it starts. Select your clip. Make sure it's only one of this one. Make sure they're not both selected. And you want to add keyframing. Now keyframing is a huge part in Premiere and After Effects and any program you use because this will really come in handy when you're going to do animations or anything that requires a point A to point B. I think I've done a tutorial on this in Final Cut. If I haven't, please remind me in the comment section below. If you also want to see some tutorials on that with Premiere, then please tell me in the comment section because I do read them. Okay, so select your clip, video, and audio, and we want to go and add a transition. So how do we do this very specifically? Well, it's not that hard, really. Um, if you go over to Effects, our Effects panel right here, it should be there. If it's not, go over to Window, Workspace, and Reset Current Workspace. Or if you have anything messed up, you can go to Reset uh, Current Workspace. Or you can just go back to the editing, which is Option Shift 3. So go over to Video Transitions. And I want to go over to a... Well, it gives you options from 3D Motion, Dissolve, iris page peel slide and wipe um, i like to do dissolve just because it's more better and here it gives you a more more lapped more laps or whatever more more features okay um so here is the cross dissolve the adaptive dissolve dip to black i like dip to black because it's really nice so you click and drag and drag it to the front right here now this um it's not really hard as you can see if i drag it to the edge on this footage, you will see that it's gonna go, uh, it tells you how long it's gonna be. You can also decrease the timing on that. So if you do it in the middle, that means it's gonna tra transition in between those two clips. Or if you move it to the far right or the far edge from the beginning of the clip, that means that the transition will start to play in the beginning. So that's pretty much what I want to do. So when you let go, you will see that there's a red bar. And that means it hasn't been rendered. So if I click play, and that's really nice, but the audio doesn't seem to kind of sink in as well. So we want to do that. Uh, we want to do that with our same clip. So if you go back to audio transitions, and we click the the arrow, and go over to crossfade. We want to select either one of these. It doesn't really matter. I go with uh, ex uh, what is it called? Expon exponential fade. Holy moly, that is a full mouthful. <laughs> I can't talk today. Sorry, guys. Um, drag it over to your audio right here. Okay. 
So it should be in the beginning. I think it's this one because you can see that it has both blue. That means they're both intact. So I'm going to drag it over into the beginning. Again, same stuff that we talked earlier. And now if we play it. You can see that it gives you a really nice uh, effect there. Now what if I wanted to move it? Well, if you click on your transition, you can click and drag and this will move your uh, transition to the far left. As you can see, it kind of made it nice and, and kind of faded in towards the new clip that we created. Uh, now this isn't syncing with the previous transition that we added over to the video, so we want to click and drag. Whoops, click our... We don't want to do that, we want to select. Okay, select the um, your transition here. If you don't see the full, like if it's not like this, you will have to click where it says audio one, click the arrow, and this will expand the track so you can see it. And you can see that there is um, some audio waveforms, and I'll talk on that uh, in the next video. If you guys want to see that, please leave a like in the in the ratings below. And that will kind of make me happy. So click and drag, so it's like this. So it's in the middle of between those two clips. So now if we play it, it, it still it does a better job. You know, it doesn't sound so crappy like we did in the beginning. So this is pretty much some basic editing. So now fading, it's the same exact stuff that we just covered right now. All you have to do is go over to exponential fade, <laughs> drag it into the beginning, um, which should be, hold on. Oh, this is our audio. We don't want our audio, we want our video transitions. Go over to dissolve, dip to black, add it to the very beginning. Same with our audio transitions and click and drag to the beginning. So now if you play it, you can see that it adds a very nice look and feel to your videos. So if this helped you in any way, please leave a like in the ratings below. Comment if you have any suggestions regarding this video. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace.